seems like a really bad idea to me. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is a change up from DC for sure. What's up everybody? Good morning. Welcome to JR Ranch right. style. Christian, where are we where are we right now? I'm sure they're That's wondering. That's right. We are at our aunt and uncle's ranch up by Canada, northern Montana. In the middle of nowhere, Montana. Check this out. Let's do a little pan. So as you guys saw, I mean, we gave you the tour yesterday. We got a brand new day. We got a lot to accomplish. And it's all going to be fun uh, ranch stuff. So Absolutely. why not start There's, the most fun thing, right? That's right. There's always a list, a long list of work that needs to be done on the ranch that we try to uh, uh, cross out as many things as we can. Oh, yeah. And we're starting with an easier, funner one. Isn't really a job. It's more just a waste of time. But hey, let's go, let's go shoot some guns. Why not? So Christian's grabbing the ammunition. Let me show you a little tour real quick. The ATV's in the Kubota like you saw uh, last video, but here we go. Let's, while he's grabbing the ammo, go quick, Christian. So of course, here we have the 357 Magnum. Can also shoot 38 specials. Uh, 22, 250. Got the 7 mm Oh my goodness. That will take down anything you want. That gun's crazy. And then we got a 22 over there. We'll grab another 22 and then we'll be off. I right, toss that in the back. All right, let's get a cold start of this bad boy. This is 1100 cc's. This is like a leader bike, but not on a bike. And diesel. <laughs> and it's diesel. Oh, yeah. While Christian's grabbing the earmuffs, I might as well play some fetch with Moxie here. Moxie, fetch. Oh, you ready? You ready? <laughs> oh. All right, all right, all right, go get it. Ready, ready, ready. Made you look, haha, -ha, still have it. Go get it. So the reason my aunt has so many dogs is because the dogs send out the alert when a predator is coming, especially Moxie. Moxie can detect bear and wolves and predators coming from very, very far away. But all the dogs are great, they're so fun. Fetch, all that good stuff. All right, so we set up the first target about 50 yards away. A little test shot with the 22 semi-autos. All right, time for the big guns. Literally, got the 22, 250. Pretty big. We're working our way up. All right, take them down, Christian. All right, Christian shot, my first shot, second shot. Not bad from 50 plus yards. All right, now it's time for the big, big, Big guns, the biggest of them all, 7mm Rem Mag Browning. Look at the size of the. Oh, we thought the 22 250 was big. Here we go. Yeah, 22 250 is zero kick compared to something like this. This one time, this one time when I was a kid, the first time shooting this, I think I was like 10 and 12 maybe. I was shooting at like a no normal 22. I think for some reason I didn't really know or nobody told me that, hey, big guns have big kicks. So when I shot it, I feel like I broke my whole shoulder. Anyway, tip tip of the day. We're probably at about 75 yards now. Alrighty, load this six shooter up, Christian. Alrighty, so we're all done shooting for now and apparently we have to go like herd some bulls in or something from the field like that's gonna be interesting but anyway we're using the ATVs to herd them in the direction we want so we're bringing all three ATVs me Christian Uncle Steve are going and now we're just gonna quickly fuel up my ATV because we're running a little low this is goals right here I wish I had my own huge tank of gas that would come in handy put that over there Ish. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow! Stop coming! Dude! Say hi, Cinnamon. Alright, 
Alrighty, let's go, Christian. Okay. Alright, now we're doing a little moto vlogging. Woohoo! Okay, okay, okay. Little river crossing. Christian, we gotta cross the river. Feet up. All right, the game plan is simple. We are opening up this gate. There are a bunch of cows and bulls mixed in over here. We want only the bulls to come through this gate so we can take them back over there. No cows, okay, Christian? No lady cows. Okay, this is a change up from DC for sure. There are the bulls that we want over there. Almost to the gate. Gate's right there. Come on, there you go, there you go. We did it, they made it to the gate. No, you stay back. Ever since we opened that gate, all these other cows have been trying to get out. You shall not pass. No, 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 stop, back. Get out, get out, good. Good. No, 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 no. Yo, hey, get out. God dang it. I just flew through a cow pie and the poo went flying on me. No. At least it didn't get on my white shoes. That's good. Yo, what the frick are they doing? Go, cows. I mean, bulls. I think they're trying to fling up the dirt to get the bugs off, if I'm not mistaken. How much these weight, Christian? Yeah, at least 2,000 pounds, I'd say. Not again, what are they doing? Christian, maybe they're making a smoke screen so we can't see them, even though it's not working. What the heck? Look at Cinnamon doing her thing, moving the bowls right along. Look at that. Cinnamon takes the place of an ATV. All right, we got three more bowls, come on. There's the fence right over there. We got all 10 bulls, we're going home, and now we got the river crossing again. Cinnamon, you ready? You ready, Cinnamon? Here we go. Uh oh, better put my feet up. Whoa! Okay, now for my favorite and kind of comedic part of this video. We have the Tesla, we have the beloved 94 pickup, but the real question is, which is the better ranch vehicle? Absolutely. Ranchers for decades have been trying to figure out what is the optimal ride. We're gonna put them to the test and here we go. So head to head. <laughs> Gas versus electric, head to head. Here we go. So the first thing a ranch vehicle must be good at is it must have great ground clearance. So to demonstrate that, we have some really big bumps right in here. Alrighty, raise her up. Haha, -ha, that is something the pickup does not have. Points to the Tesla. The it is on air. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that wheel is off the ground. That wheel is off the ground. Oh my gosh. All right. Not a problem. Time for the truck. All right. We're getting them into the rhythm section. Oh man. With ease. So, currently tied 1-1, but the next test, well. All right, number two on the list that any ranch vehicle should be able to do is a basic river crossing. We have a bit of a creek here, but let's see how it does. Handled it with ease. That air cleaner is way up at the top of the engine bay, so no problem with this. Alrighty, Tesla's turn. Oh boy, this seems like a really bad idea to me. All right. Okay. All right. Oh God, what are we doing? A Tesla river crossing? Whoa. -ho -ho. Oh, jeez. Uh, that's about it. Okay, just come back, come back. Okay. Come back. 
Okay. Yep, let's not run the risk of getting uh, electrocuted and killing everything in the actually, entire creek. Not, not even just that, you didn't see it, but on my display actually came up, it was shifting it into park. Oh and crap. Let me go. Well, uh, so, all right. That ain't gonna work. Chevy good. takes that one. The Chevrolet is staring down the Tesla. And challenge number three is towing. So for demonstration purposes, we have this trailer over here. Let's, let's see how they compete in towing. Beautiful. You all thought the Tesla couldn't tow? You're wrong. We're about to prove it. We're good to go. Let's do this. Woo, all right, that's it. take that. All right, boom. No way. Power of electricity. It can actually haul up to 5,000 pounds with the 20 inch rims. Okay, there we go, tie as well. So now it's three, two, Chevy's winning. Christian backing her in like it is nothing. Another one is sound. You gotta have a good, loud sounding ranch truck, right? All right, rev this bad boy, Christian. Rev it. Uh, are you? Oh yeah. Oh, forgot about that. Uh, can't can't really rev. Uh, okay, so that's an easy win for the Chevy. Okay, on to the final test, and that is acceleration. Sometimes you need to get to a cattle auction fast. Sometimes you need to save your cows before they get eaten by grizzly bears. That kind of stuff. Well, I think we know who won that one. That's obviously the Tesla. Three seconds, zero to 60. Sorry, Chevy. Can't compete against that. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed that segment of which is the best ranch vehicle. So we need you guys' help to figure out which one was the best ranch vehicle. And also, we really hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. It was fun to see JR Garage meets ranch. It's always such, uh, such a good time here at our uh, aunt and uncle's ranch. And that's right, we've put in a lot of work here and we're really proud of a lot of the jobs that we've done that are still standing, still being used today. So yep. comment down below if you work on a ranch, if, you've, if you know the ranch life, any of that stuff, we sure do enjoy it. It's a big switch up from DC. So like this video if you enjoyed it, comment like I said earlier, subscribe if you are new, and we'll see you probably in like South Dakota somewhere. That's our next stop, or maybe Billings, Montana, something. All right, later, later.